I have a project coming up where I'm going to need to test the duration of a camera flash and um, in that I decided to grab these three devices a photo resistor a photo transistor and a photo diode and uh, plug them into the scope and just see how they behave and um, just kind of compare the devices right here I have a schematic of the three devices on the on the far left is the photo diode in the middle is the photo transistor and on the right is the photo resistor and I chose these values um, to give me um, the least amount of sensitivity and uh, I think that'll be important because the, the the flash on the camera is so bright so they don't really react to uh, ambient lighting as much at this point given these resistor values but uh, you can change the resistor values around and uh, you know basically make it any sensitivity that you like so um, so if you take a peek at the scope here I put my finger over the photo diode you can see the yellow line dip down and I've kind of done my best to label them here so you can see what's what and if I put my finger over the photo transistor you can see it dip down a little bit and then the photo resistor as well so off on the right here I have a 555 circuit and it's not flashing very quick at all but uh, it, it appears to be always on but we know that it's uh, turning on and off and let's see what do I have here you can see how the photoresistor behaves you can see the the very very slow uh, rise and fall times on this so I think uh, in this case the photoresistor would be out of the question second device is the photo transistor and you can see already here you can see already here that we have a very sharp rise and fall times so this device is behaving pretty quickly however this is a slow flash you can see that the the on time is about two and a half milliseconds which is <laughs> pretty slow as far as uh, um, camera flashes are concerned and the third device is the uh, photo diode which is the least sensitive but um, from what I read the quickest to respond so if I turn. and you can see that it also has a very sharp it even appears to be sharper uh, rise and fall times than the photo transistor I think the next thing I'd like to do is use the fourth scope probe and uh, see how long it takes for the device to react after the light is turned on or after the um, the 555 outputs a high signal okay so now I have the scope on uh, the fourth channel here which you can see right on the 555 timer so you can see the on and off, off pulses from that so um, basically now we can compare the reaction times which we might not even be able to see them at this resolution Yeah, there's no way we're gonna have to. So you can clearly see here, the rise time on the photodiode is is it comes in uh, pretty quick. We're at 200 nanoseconds per division right now. So you can see we're definitely in the uh, under one microsecond range. Whereas the photo transistor, you can see it start to peak up right off off the side of the screen here so it's taking a little more time to react and then um, well if we do this it's you're probably not even gonna see it yeah nothing in fact the whole the fall time is so slow that it doesn't even fall in time to catch the rise which is why the whole waveform is uh, raising up Here's a better view of the uh, photo transistor rise time. It appears to be in the uh, 15 microsecond range, which is uh, actually what I think is spec for this device. 
and then the photodiode is very fast. So as far as um, the rise times, the photo <coughs> rise times, the photodiode definitely has the phototransistor beat. Okay, so now I have a um, disposable camera flash that I'm going to be playing with in a later video. And I'm going to charge it up and I'm going to see how each one of these devices reacts. To um, a bright flash of light. Okay. So um, in purple here, you see that the photoresistor um, has a really, really long tail, a long fall time, which we knew that from our previous experiment. And um, Yellow is the uh, photodiode, and the light blue is the phototransistor. So if we uh, actually zoom in here and take a peek at it, the photodiode had a much faster response than the uh, phototransistor, which we also knew from our previous experiments. Another interesting thing that um, I'm looking at here is I almost wonder that there was a small, and I could probably increase it out. I wonder if there was a small um, uh, radio transmission sent when the uh, capacitor discharged. This might have been the point at which the capacitor discharged, and then it took, uh, what are we, we're in nanoseconds, so one, two, took about three microseconds for the, uh, to f the flash to discharge afterwards, or for the device to pick it up. I'm not sure, but. Uh, I would, I'd be willing to bet that that's when <laughs> I connected the two wires. So in any case, another interesting thing here is uh, the fall times. If you take a peek, the, um, the photodiode here in yellow has a rapid fall time as compared to the phototransistor which kind of tapers off like that. As far as when the light was gone and the device started to react, it appears that the photodiode uh, beat out the transistor. The transistor had a, a slightly longer lag and then kind of the tail kind of comes down here. So so obviously based on what we've seen and what uh, I've read online is uh, the photodiode is going to be probably best suited for uh, measuring an actual flash duration. So in this case, uh, what are we looking at here? We're at uh, 804 microseconds for this uh, disposable camera flash, which is about what you would expect from a flash like this.